All right, another day of gold belly gluttony, and it's only fitting that I have this dish today. In my last video, I did some donuts from Chicago, and in that video, I proclaimed Chicago to be one of the greatest food cities in America, which is true. And today I have some food from the other great food city in America, New York. New York and Chicago are unequivocally the best two food cities in America. I won't hear any other arguments on that. I just won't hear it. But I would be interested on a side note what you think would be a runner up. Uh, what would be an honorable mention food city? Do you think it would be San Francisco, LA, Vegas, DC, Miami? Let me know in the comments below what you think would be a fantastic runner up or honorable mention food city. Okay, so today I have a Kanish. I've been working on saying that food dish name because I've never had it before. Uh, the AP English person to me wants to say it is niche, but I know that's wrong. And also for some reason, I think the Midwestern person to me wants to say Kanish, but I know it's Kanish. And these are apparently the best in America. It is from the oldest deli in New York that makes knishes, and it's the most lauded. It's in Manhattan. It's called Yona Schimmel Knishes. And uh, I mean, I'm gonna find out what a knish is right now. I looked it up, I did a little research. Apparently it's like a stuffed potato pocket. So I ordered the potato one, which is hopefully gonna be great. But I also ordered some exotic ones. I got chocolate, blueberry, cherry, and cheese. What are those gonna be like? Let's find out. All right, so unboxing here. This is about $80 and you get six of them. And the cool thing about this one is that the shipping was free. You know, a lot of times on Gold Belly, the food isn't all that too expensive, but they get you on the shipping. Sometimes shipping can be as much as $50 a box. And that's because they have to send the food overnight because it's so fresh. Ooh, what do we have here? All right. I feel like I'm an astronaut with this thing. So they're individually wrapped. Oh wait, that's an ice, that's an ice. <laughs> so we have an ice pack. So here's one, here's two. All right, so here they are on the table and they do look like stuffed potato pockets. They don't look all that delectable right now. I'm hoping that the looks are gonna be deceiving. You need to pop these in. Oh, here's the cherry one, look at that. This could be amazing, this cherry one. Let's just unwrap one of these really quickly and see what it's like. This one is really hefty. This one's like a, like a, like a baseball size. This might be the original potato one. This is the one they're known for, is the original potato. I got a potato, a sweet potato, a chocolate, a cherry, a blueberry, and a cheese. And they all look to be different shapes. This one is kind of like a baseball right here. All right, so this one's kind of like a pretzel. This one is square. Oh, this is the blueberry one. Yes, I'm really looking forward to this one as well. The blueberry, uh, the cherry, and the cheese are the ones I'm most looking forward to. So they all kind of have a different shape, which I think is really cool. So this is what they look like. They go in the microwave for two minutes or in the oven for 10. I'm gonna do the oven for 10 because I want the traditional uh, type of experience. I'm gonna do that right now and I will see you in a second. All right, back up in here. After about 15 minutes, the menu was really specific about only cooking for 10 and it was emphatic about not overcooking. And here they are after 15 minutes. I put some foil on for about half. I put tin foil on for about half of the time. And then for the other half, I took it off so I could make sure they're a little crispy on top. Here is the menu. Uh, this place has been around since 1890. The guy's originally from Romania. Side note, Romania is gonna be the first country I'm going to visit as soon as this travel ban is lifted. I'm going to go in order. I'm gonna go from potato, sweet potato, work my way up, all the way to the decadent ones like this chocolate. Look at this chocolate oozing out right there. And then, Look at this cherry, that's awesome. And this cheese, this cheese was rather ugly when I unraveled it. And look at that right there. This could be my favorite one. All right, let's get into it. I'm gonna start with the potato, sweet potato, work my way up. Apparently with the traditional ones, you can have a little bit of mustard. I got my favorite mustard, which is Engelhofer honey. Let's take a pull and see what it's like. Here we go. This is the baseball size one. And this is pretty heavy. It's like at least a half a pound, if not more. Let's go for it. So definitely filled with potato. It's like pure carbs. It's just like a really nice potato. It's potato with bread on it. Very Thanksgiving-esque. It's really, really good. I like the fact that it's baked, not fried. The mustard really adds to it. All right, let's try this sweet potato. This is probably gonna be a little bit better for you. Sweet potatoes are much healthier than regular potatoes. Let's go in for a raw pull. Hmm. Interesting. 
Now this is one where I really got myself wrong. I thought I'd like the sweet potato much more. Typically I love sweet potatoes much, much more than regular potatoes. I just like the texture better. They're healthier. I like the taste. This original potato is much better than the sweet potato. Not even in the same league or conversation. Regular, traditional uh, knish all day long. All right, let's try a blueberry. Now this is one that obviously do not want to try with mustard. I'll go ahead and put that away. You can see that the blueberry filling is just kind of emanating. These are called dessert knishes. There are traditional ones, the ones with broccoli, cabbage, the potatoes, and then there are the dessert ones. So we're gonna head to dessert right now. I got two traditional and I got four desserts. Here is the first one, the blueberry, let's go. Oh yeah, wow. Dessert conditions are where it's at. Wow, this is amazing. I can't believe it. So there's cream cheese and blueberry filling in this beautiful like potato wrapper. Wow, this is better than Stan's Donuts that I had the other day. I had no idea there was gonna be like a, a cream cheese filling in here. This thing is rich and decadent and scrumptious. Unreal. Forget the traditional conditions. Dessert conditions are where it's at. Let me go to the, let's go to the regular cheese. Mm -hmm. Wow. This might be better than the blueberry one. So when they say cheese, they mean cream cheese, not like regular cheese. At least the cheese I'm used to thinking of when I think of cheese. When someone says cheese, I have a connotation of like American cheddar. This is cream cheese. It's hard to rank these two. These are both 10 out of 10s. I go chocolate and I'll save cherry for last. So this is filled. You see the chocolate line go right down the middle. Uh, the end points right here. You see the chocolate, the warm chocolate just oozing out. This could be so good. It's decent. All these thus far have had a base of cream cheese in there. So the cream cheese is like the custard filling, if you will. And then the accent is the flavor. So think of cream cheese as the base and then the accenting flavor is whatever you order. The chocolate's good. It just pales in comparison to the other ones. All right, last but not least, I have the cherry. This is the one I was looking most forward to. Uh, it really looks like almost like a donut, like a jelly donut, the way it's kind of creeping out the end right there. It's nice and warm. I've had it on this hot plate the entire time. Let's go. Mm. I'm gonna have a surprise number one. So Yona Schimmel's Deli, traditional conditions versus dessert conditions for me, there is no argument. It is absolutely dessert conditions all day long and they are even more rich and more decadent than donuts. So if you're gonna go ahead and order a dessert knish, just know what you're getting ready for. You're getting ready for probably something that's really thick, I'd say almost a half pound, definitely like 0 0.3, 0 0.4 pounds, and this thing has to be at least 600 calories. They're really, really filling thick, heavy food. If you had one of these, you would have a very full stomach for a couple hours. It would take a lot of effort to burn one of these off. Six is overkill. Of course, I did it for this video, but if you wanted to order six, they could easily last you all week, and they will last in the refrigerator for up to five days. So if you ordered six like I did, um, I'll go ahead and put the link in the description below. If you order six, you have one right when you get it, and you can put the five in the refrigerator for the next five days, have one a day. I think that's the way to do it. Um, they also offer 12 and 24 packs. For me, that's a lot of carbs, a lot of bread, but this six pack was perfect. So. Yona Schimmel, Knishes, uh, New York's finest, America's finest, perhaps. Uh, amazing, uh, expensive. Uh, I originally thought they were a little cheap. They are really expensive. Each one of these little donuts are about $15. Uh, but if you're looking for that kosher, traditional New York deli, Knish type experience, you're gonna get it with this place. Uh, the shipping is free and they come overnight. As always, all the links in the description below, everything you need. Uh, I'm gonna probably pick on this blueberry one. This is my favorite one, blueberry, and then runner-up was the cream cheese. These two are going to my stomach. The rest of these are going to the neighbors. Uh, I'm gonna do that, and I will see you on the next one.